Zoo Days. Chapter 1. Uncle. It was the very day Dad went to Gibraltar that Uncle Rupert came. That was funny in a way, because Uncle came from the rock. The children had only seen him once. Kitty, who was three and a half, had never seen him at all. But they had heard a lot about him. Also, they had talked a lot about him. Wouldn't you, if you had an uncle, who was a VC, had killed no end of lions and tigers, and written books that you saw in nearly every bookseller's window? Dad had gone to the rock, because he said he couldn't help it. A professional soldier had to go with his regiment. And Uncle Rupert, it seemed, had come from the rock, because he couldn't help it. At first the children wondered why, if Uncle wanted to stay, he hadn't done so. Because he looked all right. Except for being a bit pale. But they found out afterwards that he was all wrong and couldn't run or jump or anything of the kind. That was through an accident to his right knee and Mother told them once that he was a perfect wreck. Anyway, Dad and he had just time for a shake of the hand and a few minutes private talk and then the same taxi that had brought Uncle and his luggage took away Dad and his luggage. Dad said goodbye to everybody twice and then put his head out of the window, said goodbye to Mother again. But his last words were to Uncle Rupert, who stood on the top step a little behind them all. Goodbye, old man. I know you'll be a second father to them. That I will, said Uncle, and then the taxi was out of sight. Everybody turned back to the hall and looked at everybody else. But no one seemed to know quite what to do. You see, the children had not really seen their uncle yet on account of his arriving in such a hurry and Dad's going in such a hurry and there being such a lot to think about. It was Mother who spoke first. At least, she did not speak, but just made a sound. Uncle seemed to look at her out of the corner of his eye. Then he put his arm round her waist, led her into the dining room and gently closed the door. When the children came in to tea an hour or so later, Mother was smiling ever so gaily. You could see she had been crying though. And Uncle Rupert had changed his clothes. <laughs> 